everybody and welcome back to diva styles um this is not going to be a craft video this is going to be um a hair video uh so recently i have came to the decision that i would like to get started on locks um on my lock journey so i've been doing like a ton of research watching video after video when i say i've been been watching videos i have been been binge watching like videos for probably like a week straight just trying to do a comparison of like coils two strand twist uh brace to see which would best fit what i'm looking for uh, now to me the coils when i was watching the videos and seeing like how the locks progressed uh to me the coils were more like you know those are more like circular like tube now to me those did uh turn into dreadlocks a lot faster those did bud faster but they were they didn't have the thickness or the fullness that um i'm looking for that i want because uh, i want my locks to be like thick and you know like full i want them to be full so i think for me i'm going to do the two strand twist because with those um it does take longer to lock up but the locks are very full they're like puffy and i loved i love that look like that's the look i'm going for so i'm going to be doing a uh, two strand twist in my hair but uh, i wanted to come on here and show you guys the texture of my hair because i didn't really see too much of that like i was trying to see somebody's lock journey but trying to see somebody that had like a hair texture that was similar to mine so that i could try to compare it but nobody really showed what their hair looked like before like they came on camera and it was just already what it was it was already locked up and they were like hey i'm starting my journey so i want to show you guys what mine look like just as is in its natural state um if you have been on my channel then you guys know that i pretty much cut all my hair off um about a, a year and two months ago i cut all of my hair off um yeah the reason i cut all my hair off was just because i had like shaved sides and I was like, okay, I want to grow my hair back, but I don't want it to be uneven. I want it to be even. So I just chopped it all off and started all over. And now that my hair, I think it's like, I'm going to go ahead and take this down and I'll be right back. All right, you two guys, I decided to come back on here and finish talking because, um, yeah, I just got a lot to say. Um... So I'm going to be doing the two strand twist myself, me and my daughter, she's going to help me. Um, and the reason why I chose to do it myself, now I, yesterday I had my mindset on going to a loctician and getting it done at a shop because I was like, you know, locks, this is a serious thing, a serious commitment, it's going to be forever, you know, like there's no going back. So what changed my mind from that was uh like i said i've watched a ton of videos so what changed my mind from that uh was the fact that i did see quite a few videos of people that went to locticians and they were not happy like um they would start doing their locks the loctician would start their locks in the back and as they went up like the sizes of them would change like it got bigger i guess because the person got tired um and that was something i was afraid of like i've had that happen before like i i don't want that um also a lot of people were upset at the results um like the, i don't know it just i don't know i don't know i just got threw off by that and i said you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and do it myself two strand twisted i mean that's something I can do myself. It's not hard anyway. So shoot. And then another thing that I struggled with is products. Because it seemed like no matter what video I watched. They all use different products. Like every single one of them had a different product. Like nobody used the same product. 
But one thing that I did see that was a common factor was um, oil. So you do need some type of oil. I am going to use uh, I am going to use the oil. So I got to go out and figure out what type of oil. But me, I'm just going to use like a very light oil, and I want to use like uh, rose water. I want to be able to spray myself every day with rose water. Uh, that was also important, I think. And I seen that they used, they all had like a spritz or a mist that they used every day. So I think for mine, I'm going to use rose water. And um, I might even infuse like the oil inside of the rose water and then, you know, just shake it when I use it. I don't know, I might do that. Um, but locks, yeah, locks is something I've been wanting for a long time. I've just been, I guess, mm, not really too afraid to do it because you guys know I try some crazy Mom. stuff. But I guess worried about. <laughs> Alright you guys. My bad. My son was calling me. I'm not sure if y'all can hear him. But um, yeah. I guess too afraid. I guess with what people think. Um, their stereotypes on people with locks. You know. A lot of people think that they're dirty. Those people are nasty. They stink. Um. They're ugly. Um, you know, those people smoke weed. Um, they're lazy. You know, things like that. So, I just decided, you know what? Life is too short to not be doing the things that you want to do. And, you know, and to not live life for yourself. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and go on this journey because it's something I've always wanted to do and I'm going to do it regardless of what other people say. So, this is what my hair looks like. I am going to wash it and show you guys what it looks like washed. Not too long. Like I said, this is a year and like 2 months of growth. Not really from being bald headed I mean I don't know if that's a lot or it's not bad I guess what is this about six inches how long is my hair I don't know I told the lactician my hair was six inches I don't know if I lied or told the truth let me see my hair goes up to about right there let's see yep six inches six and a half something like that okay so I didn't lie um yeah, so I'm going to wash it and then I'll be back. Alright you guys, so this is what my hair looks like fresh out the shower um, after a wash. Yeah, that is my curls. Okay, so what did I use? Well, I just went out and purchased this. This smells really good. Almost has like a mint smell to it as well. Uh, but what I did is I put it in this huge um, spray bottle. And then I also diluted it. I've seen a lot of uh, people with locks. Like um, they did half and half, you know, half this and half water. Uh they also said it, it helps it to last longer and even though I did that I didn't see a difference like it's still lathered up it still got my hair clean and I used half of what I normally would have used so um, I end up getting this this is the oil I end up going with never used it before not sure how this is gonna do Tropical root stimulating growth oil contains blah 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 blah. Okay, so I got it because it's supposedly as shine. So I got it to help my locks still look good. It strengthens hair because you know I don't want no breakage up at the roots, and then it also promotes growth. So I thought that was a win-win. And then of course, like I said, I had to get my uh my rose water and I might buy another spray bottle and like combine these two and then that just be what I spray my hair like every day um 
but yeah so I'm, I'm ready to be on my way I'm about to go and get twisted up while it's in its wet state um, I know that there's gonna be shrinkage I know there's gonna be frizz I know there's an ugly stage I'm prepared I know and I'm, I'm ready and I'm looking forward to it um, yeah you guys I'm, I'm ready I'm gonna try to twist it to my curl to match my curl pad I'm trying to see okay my curls turn this way this way I don't know but I'm gonna try to do the twist that go the same way as my curls you know so they're not like fighting each other but if you have any questions at all please feel free to ask and I'll see you guys soon and hopefully I'm locked up bye